What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for some standard Magic the Gathering here on MTG Arena or youtube.com slash Frank Lepore or twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. As someone who plays Hearthstone, I hate you so much right now. Me? Why? What did I do? With your bajillion decks and your 18 cards for... Why do you hate that, though? So we're going to play this deck. It is a Soul Tie deck, but it's got it's got some spicy numbers in it. Thanks to Everything is Terrible. Uh, not they didn't they he didn't put the spicy numbers in, but they showed us the deck and we have four thief of sanity, which is one of my favorite cards, because I don't have that. I accept that, but why as why why as someone who plays Hearthstone, <laughs> that's what I don't understand. <laughs> uh, thief of sanity is one of the strongest cards in the format I think, and if you can get a couple hits in with this guy, it's very very hard to to lose the game in my experience. Four hydroid crassus, my dudes. Uh, two Vivian and Vraska, two of some of my favorite Planeswalkers in the format. Two Doom Whisperer, three Vraska's Contempt. Uh, three Disinformation Campaign, which is pretty gas. <laughs> Chris, I get it. I don't know why the... Uh, you could have been like, I hate you so much for having all these cards and decks. I don't know, as someone who plays Hearthstone, that's what's throwing me. Because we're playing Magic. This is Magic. This isn't Hearthstone. He, God, he forgets. It's okay. Fourth Auto Racer, which I also love. Three Incubation Druid. Uh, three Cast Down. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the deck. It's it's pretty it's pretty sweet. I'm a I'm a fan. And <laughs> four duress, one disdainful, two negates, one arguels, bloodfest. I can't argue with that. Two cry of the Kernam, two ritual sit, one hostage taker, and two eldest reborns. And we're gonna go do we're gonna play some ranked games, Tra traditional ranked, if you will. Uh, I don't think this hand is keepable. I think if we had one more land, it would be. I wish you could swap cards out like all of Hearthstone. I'd be like, I don't want this one, this one, or this one. And I'll switch those out. <sighs> this is a good hand. Oh, yeah. You can stay right there on the tippity top, my dude. Where did that keepable quote go? How come it didn't show up? Um, let's play Watery Grave. And let's take a gander at ye old hander. Oh, branch walker, branch locker, dread light ranger. How original! What an original package. The old, the twelve cards, the auto include twelve cards. I'm gonna even put you on the bottom or in the graveyard rather. Thief of Sanity should be able to get in there. We know three of the four cards in your hand. Uh, I will block neither of these guys. Because I think Thief of Sanity is... Also, they don't have a black source, but... Get out of here, little scorpion. It's dangerous. Oh, they're just going to play this guy as a 1-1? One -one? <laughs> God, the threat of... I'm pretty sure we actually just exile this guy. They have two cards in hand. They just play this as a 1-1 one -one and draw no cards. That's hilarious. Of course, if we're, if we're not going to play that, it's probably better to play Vraska's Contempt. I think we're just attacking. If they want to block... That's fine. It feels like they want to block, which is why they just ran this guy out there. You have to be so afraid of Thief of Sanity if you're just willing to play that dude for one, right? Why wouldn't you branch walker first? 
That's interesting because you're just gonna pump that guy. Unless you like, do you have a hostage taker that I feel bad about not getting rid of now? Oh, just another hydro crisis. Seems good. Seems good. Um, I don't hate that. I don't want to take two here, but pretty sure they're gonna block. Or not, not block, but uh, yeah, they're hundred percent gonna block actually. So we could take two, and then we play incubation drip. We go to eight. Do we take five and go to three? That seems pretty bad. Probably would. Maybe we should just play Doom Whisper. Maybe there's no value to playing Incubation Druid here. Okay, well. I'll take five here. Wow, the old triple hydroid crosses, huh? Seems good. I want to gain some life and draw some cards. Nope, guess not. We block here, we take five. Cool game. Wow, they just had it all. That was amazing. I'm impressed. Ritual of Soot is actually amazing against their deck. So is Disdainful Stroke, actually. It counters Hydroid Crassus, it counters Vraska, it counters all the Planeswalkers they may or may not put in. Hostage Taker also very, very good because it gets to eat their Hydroid Crasses and we get to replay it for a million. Probably cut one Discovery Dispersal because while the card is good, it doesn't do a ton. Making fun of a child who's trying to sideboard is very rude. I don't know the exact quote, but you guys get it. actually fine. We can keep this. We can play turn two discovery. Try to hit a third land. We have a Hydroid Crassus. So. this guy, but I will keep the third land. Hmm. Well, this guy's dead of meat, I'm sure. Oh, it's not. Wow.
Wow, we get a hit with Thief of Sanity? What a time to be alive. This is all I've ever wanted. And they just draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems good. We have no four drops, so let's see what we hit, I guess. Wow, there were five lands on the top of their deck. That's a yikes for me, dog. Um, we can play this guy for two. Never really impressed with that. I'll just play this so we can play Doom Whisperer next turn. Now I wish I kept the second Doom Whisperer, but... Yep, seems good. Got no value off of these enemy. That is horrifying. Straight horrifying, my dudes. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Every fight makes me stronger. Yeah. Uh I'll surveil once. I'm just gonna keep both of these on top. Feel the wrath of Scala. I actually just Vraska keep up. I don't want to get an 8 here. I kind of want to just play. I want to get some value on the board. I think this is probably better because it lets us keep a 2 2. Acer, hey, unexpected Frank stream this evening. Well, that deserves some bits. Seems good. One. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure, my dude. The wilds are my shield. Yep. They're going to draw a Hydroid Crassus, like you do. Hostage taker. Get rid of my blocker, attack for four, maybe. Oh. Both at me, huh? Tyrant. Hydroid Grasses before. Yeah, this card is. That card's pretty good, though. Make your captain proud. Next, in the turn. So if you can't deal with this and we have a disdainful stroke, then we get to just put you to zero. Or one. And then put you to zero. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Why does this pirate look blurry? Is it me? I guess it might be the ripples causing it to look blurry. Has anyone seen Elias? Elias only shows up when Elk Tears is around. It's really weird. That's a, that's a nay for me, dog. I've seen things that would break someone like you. 
That is just a coincidence. I'm sure there's nothing to that. Oh, you got it. You did. 18, huh? Oh, yeah, you're dead. And game. Thanks, Vraska. Wow, why didn't they go after Vraska last turn? They just wanted to deal two damage to my face, I guess. Nebraska is a good card. I feel like our deck is good. Jogging that down in the. You mean jotting? Jotting? You mean jotting? That seemed like an autocorrect there. Don't care about you. I do like a negate. Let's put in one negate for one cast down, I think. Because we also have Ritz and, and Choops and all, all kinds of things. Jogging? Can you do that? I run on stationary. Well, far be it for me to, to, to argue with that, my dude. Oh, this is my Lanamore Elves. I'm gonna play it on turn one because I like ramping out my things. Can't anybody care about that? Sure. They kept that crawl harpooner on the top? Yeah, what a maniac. Gonna take this chupacabra like before. We don't need the land. So I'll ship it. Ship it down to Shippy Ship Town. That's a song I just heard. Dear Journal, Frank made me look really soon after all this. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I hope that's not... I hope that's a jogging thing and not a look real stupid thing. I don't want to make anybody look stupid. Not intentionally. Guy off the board at least. Trade! And we know they have three lands, but we have really nothing going on. I guess we can play Hydra Francis. Which could trade with a 3 2 and we draw a card from it. Hydroid Crassus for like. Oh, we did the maximum, right? Plus. Oh no, that's just plus five. That's interesting. X equals two. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Mm, get a little block arena here. Play another crappy creature like these. I mean, we're just gonna 100%, uh... What? Nah, I mean, we're gonna do that anyway, but probably gonna ritual here. Resolve? Oh yeah, I don't want full control on. They got a counterspell? One of their two cards is a counterspell? That's pretty funny if it is. I would laugh. <laughs> Wait, what did they do? Oh, they got back a Jailer Ranger? Sure. I mean, we got cast down, negate, and disinformation, so... Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay, well, you know none of the cards in your hand. So.
I'm gonna play this first because if we draw a tap land, I'd rather just play that. Well, we can play that next turn. For now we're just gonna play this. Which information campaign? Hmm, this one. Like you do. Whatever that means. Nope, not that one. This one. God, I don't have a counter spell. I'm so sad. They didn't have one. That's great news. Oh. Well, now we're keeping up in the gate for sure. Uh, I don't really want to return this to your hand. Oh, we can actually replay this and... Um, neither. We can replay it and still keep up negate. That's pretty good. Yikes. Sean, what's going on, buddy? They got a hard choice here, I guess. I will end my turn. We're going to take four, but then we get to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we can play this guy for six. It's pretty good. Yep, you got it. Just run that Vivian read out there. Just do it. Actually, <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. Oh, wow. You didn't just windmill slam that lady? Hmm. So we just get rid of your whole hand here. Cast down. Eh, we're going to have to take Vivian read. Uh, yeah, I like that. The problem is they kill whatever we... So we can play Disinformation Campaign. Make them discard their last card. We go to one. We draw Vraska's Contempt. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, it's basically the only thing we can do here. Uh, this is standard. This is just traditional. I have a feeling I want to keep both of these on top. Yeah. So, unless they draw a haste guy, I think we're okay. I'm going to go to one. We're going to Vraska. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got to play whatever you draw because we have disinformation campaign. The rich get richer. One, two, three. So, we can actually exile this guy. Six, seven. Wow, that's rough. We actually have to gain life here. This is amazing. Like, I'm actually, like, trying to figure out how we win this game. Three, four, five, six. We can Hydroid Crassus for a bunch. For four, we gain two. Go to three, and both are lethal. I don't think that does it. Can I cancel out of this? Nope, I guess not. Alright, so we'll do it for two. Oh, I actually, we're dead now. I actually meant to uh, keep a mana for... Yep, that's pretty bad. Alright. Wow, I can't believe we lost that game. I don't know where we went wrong, I guess, not being able to deal with Jade Light Ranger. And we would gained one more life, we would have gone to three, and then we have to deal with both the guys. Like, it doesn't do anything. That's really discouraging. 
I feel like we had to, there had to be something we could have done. Yeah, if we played if we played uh Crassus for one, like gain no life is just a three mana blocker, and then exile the three three, it's definitely an option. I don't know. What can you do? We're gonna play this to see if you have any answers for a thief of sanity. Teferi. Oh look, it's the fun deck. Um I kind of just want to get rid of search here. Um, yeah, I don't care about that right now. Thief of Sanity, if it's uncontested, which it should be at this moment. Yeah, like, not being able to, like, back out of Crassus when I hadn't officially cast it was pretty rough. All right, well... Three cards. Let's see if any of them deal with Thief of Sanity. Ooh, looks like looks like Nay. Oh, this is nice. Dawn of Hope. I don't even have a white source, and I'm taking that dude. Uh, I kind of just want to hit a land here. Well, we didn't, so it's unfortunate. Could have played Incubation Druid if you really wanted to hit a land. I guess that's true. Uh, escape doesn't do anything on Arena except bring you to the menu. And also, we there was nothing to click on the upper right card. Just hope for a land here? I think we have to, right? If we hit a land, we get to play Incubation Druid. Yep, no land again. Wow. So the, the matches we get a bunch of hits in with Thief of Sanity is the, the matches we just literally don't hit lands. That's, that's pretty cool. Z usually backs out. I can't even tell if that's true or not. I've never heard of Z and MTG Arena doing anything. I am not going to sit this one out. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Draw a counter spell on one of your two cards. Nope. Just the kind of decision. Only time will tell. So we know Revitalize, Revitalize, and two chemistries on site. So of course they're playing Nexus as a Fate. Having you on in the background while I'm working is weirdly comforting. I appreciate that. I'm okay hearing that. That's a pretty sweet compliment. Oh, 
I once made a 46 card deck and had 26 lands and 20 cards and still had the mulligan for five. What is that? What is that even? 26 lands? Oh, I see what you're saying. So half like, wow, over half. <laughs> yeah, well, that's rough. Oh, uh, this is not best of one. This is standard. I, I said that. Why do I have to hit this every time? I don't understand. Like, I'm passing through their turn. I guess because I have to acknowledge that I saw it. It's really obnoxious. Let's skip to the good part. I feel like I got to interact a lot, and I got to do a lot of things, and I had a lot of fun, and, thank you, you know. Gels, thanks so much for the resub, welcome back, really appreciate it. Tractor, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Showing my five months, I am showing my five month streak in chat. That's okay. That's a, that's, a, that's something you're free to do. So we're 01 with this deck so far, and we're down a game here. Oh, they changed my avatar to Chandra. I didn't even realize that. I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, the old no lander. That's a classic, I guess. You can't actually reprint surgical extraction because Phyrexian mana. That's the problem. Like you're never gonna have a constructed set where you're gonna be able to introduce Phyrexian mana without any sort of like. I mean, you'd have to, if we revisited Mirrodin, maybe, but, like, I don't even think they're ever gonna... Phyrexian Mana is not something I think they're ever gonna revisit willingly, because it's not a... I mean, look at the look at the result of Phyrexian Mana. You have to be extremely... extremely safe about it, like... <laughs> Otherwise, you get things like Mental Misstep, which gets banned. You get 
uh, mutagenic growth, which is a staple. You get dismember, which is a staple. You get gut shot, which kills people when they're playing in the for the top eight of the pro tour. You get uh, Gitaxian probe, which is banned. <laughs> Grandpa Wow or that got him kid. Oh man. I don't actually have those set up for the uh the arena thing. I just have them set up for Magic Online. Tell us how you really feel about Gutshot. Gutshot is a wholesome and What's going on? Are they like are they using a timeout to mulligan? Gutshot is a wholesome magic card, guys. <laughs> good times. We're having a good time. It's okay. We're having a good time. Everybody's having good times. This is how I want every match against the, the Nexus of Fate deck to go. What problem is? <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. Maybe they bored, maybe they bored themselves to death. I actually like Unmored Ego, though. Let's not make a new deck. Thank you. Everything is terrible. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. We won against the Nexus, boys. Um, yeah, surprisingly. That's how you do it. You just go, you lose the first game, and then you just have your opponent literally die on the keyboard. What problem is? Also, Unmored Ego triggers disinformation. I'm going to add... I'm gonna take out the blood fast, add it on more ego. Take out one duress because we already have a bunch. I'm gonna add three on more egos. See, I don't like this because before there was another another tab and I could just hover it over here. How do I get it back in the deck? <laughs> I have to like click on it and then do this. That seems like it's it's it seems like I lost functionality there. Uh, thief and disinformation are only three drops, which is okay with me. I'm gonna cut one card. I'm gonna cut one cast down. I really don't like incubation druid in this list. Like, I feel like you want to ramp to three, not to four. But whatever. I think unmore to go in the main is probably fine here. Maybe. Magic's hard. Man. I don't think we're keeping this hand. This hand we're gonna keep all day, every day. Oh, we're we're playing it's the king king uh, murloc here. That's pretty nice. I'll keep that as well. All right, looking good. Exactly. Exactly. I guess we're just doing this guy here. Oh, I see. Well then. Okay, well we're gonna take the Chain Whirler here. Even though these guys are terrifying. God. Like, we just have nothing against this. This is brutal. This deck is real good. Uh, I actually do want to keep that, because that's probably what we're gonna play next turn. They don't have a third land, though. Okay, well, that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna play Disinformation because they can't actually cast any of these next turn. And we get to bring it back with the Thought Erasure. And if we draw a second Thought Erasure, can you imagine? Guys, I can't imagine. Can you imagine? Well, they hit a little Lando. Uh, yeah, that's worse. 
That's fine. We have enough to get something on top. We want a fifth land. We don't have any two drops, so I'll play this. It's good old Rakdos midrange because they're able to cast Carnival Carnage and they may have Eldest Reborn. It's literally the... It's literally just the GP winning deck that they're playing. I mean, deck is good. You have to deal with all the creatures. Wow, how lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hmm. I mean, if we kill it, it just comes back, right? There's nothing for us. Vivian Reed does survive. Finds us some some pretties. Let's see if you're worth. No one knows the wilds like I yes. do. Yes. And so next turn we can actually kill this with with like Choop and then kill it with the well kill the kill the Vigory and then kill the token with the Choop. And if they want to actually like I don't care about either of these, so this is the only card that I'm worried about. So it'll probably be like a I don't know Scargan Hellkite. Lucky, lucky, lucky. You got it. Yeah, we wanted to make sure this couldn't hit planeswalkers, and it cannot. I've seen squirrels hit harder. Okay, so you can't really do anything here. That is fine. Um, we just have lava coil. Let's get rid of thief of sanity and. Chupacabra. We can play Vraska. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> I forgot we can't actually kill this with the because they attacked her, so that's rough. Magic's hard, guys. Okay, that's a good dude. But they do have a lava coil in hand, so we're gonna get rid of the lava coil. Okay. This is actually fine. I feel like we're way ahead here. Would you say you're working on the night moves? Um, possibly. I'm a Bob Seger fan, so it's definitely possible, my, my dude. Oh, good. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, for five. Working on the night move. Any exciting travel plans for this month? Not really, no. Um, no, not really. February is actually pretty, pretty boring at this juncture. You can have this mountain. Karn starts at five. That's impressive. That's that's not impressive. So they can get a Dire Fleet Daredevil, which gives them Thought Erasure, and that's pretty much it. Okay, that's not terrible. So if we play Vraska, kill the Chain Whirler. That seems good. Let's just make a blocker. Yeah, let's just make a blocker. Let's no attacks right here. That's a good one. Doesn't really do anything right here, but that's okay. Now I have a Rask on board. I'm okay with that. Don't forget to activate your little carny. They might actually just activate Karn. No, they can't cast it, though. The time has come. Interesting. Because they don't have the land to actually cast a Thought Erasure and play Dire Fleet. And we have camp Disinformation Campaign, so... I'm uh... this turns. This turn's going to be gas. Oh, 
dead. That worked out well. That's what's known as a good turn. block with this because it's a creature with no ability and being in the graveyard is nice because if we draw something that benefits from that hmm. double disinformation campaign no creatures in hand we get to bounce both of these by playing the crasses here I kind of just want that guy dead one two three four five six seven eight nine Crasses for a million is, uh, it's more than, that'll do. That'll do. Sometimes, when did I say sometimes goblins are just alright? When did I say that? Alright, so this is like a aggressive ready deck. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The Stainful Stroke actually seems pretty okay here as well. I think I want to discover Dispersal. Can you put counters on Druid? Yeah, if you have a way to do that. Thank you. Chief Hucka, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Working all the night moves. You guys know I was working on the night moves? You did, because you suggested it, so here we are. Here we are. Is my opponent going to concede again? Is this just like, are we just going to win again? Are, did, are these all these opponents like, I want to play best of one? 
But I want to be able to play Nexus. So... Did they just lose game one? I guess they, they like I won game one. I don't know what's going on, man. This is very weird. Do I have a bug? Did I get like a... Is there like an update bug where I'm just like... My account got... This is super weird. What in the earth is going on? Alright. I mean, I'll take it. We're ranking up here. You know. Oh god, that's a blessing. Cast 20 red or green spells. Well, slowly but surely, we got the Sultai deck, so. I will play first again. Alright, this is a good hand. I see two thought erasures. I'm a simple man. I see two lands, two thought erasures, and a incubation druid. I keep. Oh, I got a little wild growth walker, huh? Wild growth walker, keep on rolling, keep on. I mean, there's no point in trying to grind to the MCI. Like, that's actual. That's an actual joke. There's no way. I mean, like, trying to grind to top eight is just fucking ridiculous. Like, that's not an attainable goal in my opinion, but... You're not gonna play. The only thing you're gonna play next turn is gonna go land and jade, jade, jade light ranger, and I want to know what the best option for us is once you do that. I think just getting this on board is probably better. I do want to hit a fourth land, and that. Hmm. What standard duo? What does that mean? Six power on board. It's just hard to deal with these guys. Especially if you don't hit lands. How many lands are in this deck? 25 lands. There's 25 lands in this deck, and we've missed several land drops. Like, several... Oh, biscuits. So we can we can unmoor ego, get rid of their hydroid crassus, but then we just take a million like I I'm actually like beyond belief that we haven't drawn another land. Hey, look look at that. What the hell is Standard Duo? I haven't even heard about that. <laughs> Name a more Standard Duo, I'll wait. Wow. Brutal. Okay, so, all right, we're just gonna concede the game. Yeah, I would actually take out the, the I don't like Incubation Druid in this deck. I don't think you're ramping 
And plus, it's kind of counterproductive with your ritual of suds. I feel like Discovery Dispersal is just a card we can easily take. I kind of want Umber to go just to get rid of their Hydroid Crises. Can someone link me to what Standard Duo is and why it's the... Why a million dollar tournament is using it? Can anybody? I'm getting hungry, guys. Scroll down to format. Oh god. It's gonna be fast, tense, and full of dramatic moments. How do you know that? I mean, you wanna think it will be. Like, that's ideally it will be, but you don't you can't guarantee that. It could be a completely boring shit show. You have no idea. Double elimination, double elimination play. What, not Swiss? This is all very strange, man. Through, through all days of tournament, including Sunday, using a brand new form of calling Duo Standard. It is PR speak, of course it is. Like, you want to hype it up. Actually, I'll, I'll take both of these. In Duo Standard, players will submit two standard legal decks. Players will not sideboard between games. That they may submit a sideboard for cards such as Mastermind's Acquisition. So you just get to play with... So if you're playing Mastermind's Acquisition, you just get 15 extra cards in your deck that you don't have to risk drawing. It's pretty reasonable. I'm just going to play this guy. Okay, they, they submit two standard decks with no sideboards. Players can submit two different decks, two of the same archetype with different cards in both. The you can six, submit the same deck twice. Game one, which deck each player plays and who goes first will be determined randomly. Game two, in the second game, players will use the deck they didn't play in game one. The player who went second in game one ended. It's one of their two standards. This sounds terrible. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this does not sound... This sounds like you're trying to be too cute. Like, there's no reason for it to be this weird format. Uh, Ollie and I have not done Freshly Brewed in in a bit, as you probably know, and I'm not sure if we have any plans to. Like, there's... There was an issue. I just don't even feel like going into it. Uh, cast down this dude. I mean, okay, A, it's not all about selling cards, and B, even if it is, they're a company, I, don't even, I wouldn't blame them for that. Like, that's silly. But, like, even if it is about buying two decks, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, that wouldn't be their goal because people aren't going to buy two decks. Like, you don't need two, two decks to the local events that you're playing in. Right, so, like, it doesn't make sense to, for those to be your reasons. Uh, I'll put that in a graveyard. We're actually, we're doing quite well here, so... Shining on me. Can't kill a Steve of Sanity. <laughs> God, it's so good, dude. I would really love a, a black land here. That would be really just fantastic. Can a dude get a swamp arena? The answer is no. Forever stuck on four lands. Trade with your own guy? I like it. Again. They literally invented a new format for the biggest tournament they've ever had. Yeah, it's super weird. I don't understand it. No sideboards. It's like, well, wait, why are you... 
Like, why even design cards like, uh... Like duress, you know, like cards that are sideboard cards. Beasts are much more reliable. Draw and fire. That actually, I mean, yeah, just to keep things more interesting makes the most sense, right? Um, where do they say sideboarding is too hard? I would be interested in seeing them them say that. This is why you bring in the unmoored egos, so you can just kill all their mole drifters. They're five five mole drifters. Balance comes. I actually kinda wanna hit land drop here, right? One, two. Yeah, we can yeah, we can go woodland. Play woodland. Play thought erasure. Oh wow, your hand is terrible. Um now we can get rid of that. And then play Chupalupas. Silvio's seen it always sunny. Oh, that's gas. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Oh my god. Oh god. That's gasoline, dude. Yeah, I like this hand. When did you get my ice cream truck? I'm looking to buy an element and they were raising goats and shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at those little babies. Oh my god. Look at their little faces. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. So we have four lands here. What are we getting rid of? What do you have on board? You have two lands and no other lands. You have no black and no third land. What do we have? We can cast down something. So I'm, not, I'm more concerned with the value you're going to get off that guy. You, got, you can go. Okay. Well, that's good for us, I guess. Oh my god, these goats, dude. I'm dead. Oh, a disinformation campaign is nice to hit here. Oh, now I can play an overgrown too. Nice distribution of land arenas. Okay, so you play a Thief of Sanity, or one of the other two cards? Meg. Nice. Meg with the resub! What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. You are a lovely human being. And I'm a fan of your existence. Um... Yeah, that guy gotta go. How come Vraska can't kill other Planeswalkers? That should be a thing, right? Oh, no, nice. Oh, good. That's got to go in the graveyard. Don't press your luck, man. They hit a land. We know that this new format will increase the overall possibility space to be solved. Possibility space? It'll allow those watching to directly integrate what they've seen at the highest level of playing and how they play in future. And also, it's a huge barrier of entry from competitive play. 
We want as many people participating in the process and engaging in the events as we can muster. Sideburning solves many problems, but it does so with the addition of a process that is... Oh, pass, pass. So we can go... They have a Vraska's Contempt. Which I guess is fine. We get to return disintegration campaign. Like, we get a lot of value out of this, and if they want to spend their whole turn, Vraska's Contempting. Wait, why didn't this... Oh, whenever you surveil. I, f I thought it was whenever you pass the gold spell for some reason. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. For some reason I was like, why did I think gold spell? end up like I always end up binning the doom doomsayer what is it doom whisper and then I always regret it because I end up drawing absolute nothing kills everything. Can I get a surveil card? Oh, a land? Actually, that's really good. I was hoping that would be uh, what we hit. I've lost so much already. You can't stop nature. I could try. I draw a Vivian Reed and hit the Hydroid Crisis. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Refill! That was nice. Mine is bigger. Mine is done. So we can go Thieves Sanity and Assassin's Trophy this guy. Oh no, no, get out of town. Oh my god. Actually, I kind of don't mind that. This is just, it's just gotta be worse than... What's in our graveyard right now? We can literally just get back Doom Whisper. No, that's too much. Cause, eh, it's whatever. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's real good. <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty okay. Oh wow, I totally forgot about this mission campaign. That's like that's gasoline. I'm kidding. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. No one said restoration was painless. I've seen worse. Could have actually waited until we, unless we drew like a Vraska's Contempt or something, but it's pretty ridiculous. Sure. The last few cards have been Hydroid Crassus, Hydroid Crassus, Vivian Reed, so like, what are you gonna do? We're gonna kill this guy because this guy is so much this guy's so much better. Like, if they draw one surveil or one um, explore creature, then we're just in bad shape. Sure. <laughs> just keep on eating. Game. 
Graveyard. Top. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing all the things. Draw another card. Yeah, disinformation campaign is pretty, pretty insane. Oh god. Okay, now I feel like we're in good, we're in good shape. How this thing meet my newest friend. Can I play this guy too? No. Okay, just making sure. Okay, our hand is now Hydra Crest, Thief of Sanity. We have a Vivian Reed at six and a disinformation campaign. I feel like we're okay. I've seen things that would break someone like you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's a real magic card. Here's an 11-11. I will refill my hand. Wow. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Let's take a sweet. I would take the incubation druids out. Do we get down? Are we diamond now? Is that what's next? No, I'm gold tier three. Okay, I don't know how that. I clearly don't know anything about rankings. Um, I'm trying to take incubation druid out, but like, so if we take. The problem is if we take out like incubation druid and add R ritual of soot, like it disincentivizes us from playing thief of sanity on turn three. I kind of like one find finality in the deck, to be honest. How many creatures are in the deck? Fifteen. Hmm. We'll try one. F Actually, I like Golgari Fine. I'm a big Golgari Fine Broker fan, to be honest. It gets back everything you want. I feel like Golgari Fine Broker has been uh, underrepresented in Standard recently. What is the best creature in standard right now, and why is it Crassus? Well, it's actually uh, it's actually Hydroid Crassus, and the reason is because God, just look at it, just look at it, man. I'm at 61 cards. Do we not take out the Unmoored Ego? Is that what we did? I guess we'll find out because I'm sure we'll draw it right off the top. Ready? <gasps> that wasn't it. What a surprise! What a twist! Oh, we're just playing some gates. Some gatey boys. Okay. I mean, I do like having uh, an Unmoored Ego in the deck when we're playing against the gate deck, because you can just take their gate colossuses or... Yeah, that's fine. It's my turn. I droid Crocis. I don't. I could have played this guy for one because we have a million of them. I don't know if that's correct. It's probably better for them. All of them, all right. Mother of God.
It's a lot of lands. My, my, my problem is, yeah, this is another reason why Unmarty goes good, because you can name Thank something like Guild Summit, and that's like their main form of card advantage. So, like, next turn if they went Guild Summit, they could actually tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lands, and literally just draw 7 cards. Fry Wilco, thanks so much. Really, really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Hey, we hit a land. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep, all right, we're doing good. Having a good time, that's all three. I only have one more left. How subtle had the memes been? Uh, they pretty. They got a lot. That more. They got a lot more straightforward after you left. I think. Oh, good. Thirty-four life is what you're at. What do you gain? Twenty life. And a twelve twelve. All of these are incredibly reasonable things, to to do. Okay, 57 life. Not unreasonable. Oh, Incubation Druid, your favorite and mine. So what, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this is going to die anyway, so I might as well go to the 12-12, right? Nothing personal. I don't know who that one. I don't know who says that one. We got 28 cards left in your deck versus my 41. He's keeping Grandpa Wow all to himself. My God. You know what? You're gonna Gates of Blaze to kill this guy, so it's whatever. You're not tricking me into... Okay, if we can just draw Unmored Ego and, guild and, and hit Guild Summit, I think we're actually doing well because... That's our fourth one! That is your last one! So we're actually going to crack this uh, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We want to keep up four, so we'll actually do this for four. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I should have 
is nice. Two guild so oh mass manipulation, huh? Mass manips. We can definitely bounce this guy. It's pretty good. How many cards do they have left? I mean, I don't know if they're playing Explosion Expansion, right? Like. 16, 16 cards left, huh? We kept this because I thought I'd be able to play it. I don't know why we kept it now. Now that I, now looking back at it in hindsight, I was like, oh, maybe we can use it to... I mean, we have Crassus in hand, so it's never dead, but... Fascinating. Okay. Wow, they show off. Do I have a Choop in here? No. Okay. I still don't see a reason to use the, mem the Memorial of Folly here. Vivian Reed kills one of the stupid idiots. Uh, I think that's a little too cute, though. Okay. Well, that's not going to do it either. Alright, well, that's the end. They could have Banefire. This thing is hard to deal with. Like, I, I've won against it a lot. But also, we've also lost against it a bit as well. Bring these Unmoored Egos in for sure. Eldest Reborns can come in for sure. I think this information is actually pretty bad here. Same with Discovery Dispersal. And I actually never really like uh, <laughs> Incubation Druid in this list. Um, negate, negate. Disdainful Duress, perhaps? Although being able to snag like a Hostage Taker. Or not a Hostage, a uh, Hydroid Crassus could be good. Sure. Oh, we'll play first. Yeah, this is a keeper. This is a sneakerino, if you will. Crassus and a bunch of lands and a gates of ways, which I don't really care about that much. Got it. This ram is just unbelievable for three mana. Like in this deck, it's just a three and a four four. We're also missing a good amount of colors here, which is kind of comical. Okay, well, 
If they can go gate, they can go gates ablaze and keep their guy alive and attack us for six. Not gonna block that guy. Unbelievable. That's actually pretty believable. Oh wow, negate. Guild summit Crassus Gates of Blaze. Gotta, get, gotta take the Gates of Blaze, right? Because otherwise you just Gates of Blaze next turn and just destroy our life. Uh, definitely keep that on keep keep that in on top. Uh, I can go Choops to get rid of the Colossus. And then we can play over on two. Let's do no attacks because. Oh, you actually can't cast any of these without a blue source, and you have no blue sources, which is pretty amazing. I don't actually know how that's possible. I think that's one of the few things keeping us alive here. Did they just try it out of blue? Maybe they tried it out of blue there. Well, definitely double blocking, my dude. That was pretty reasonable. So we're gonna actually one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna crash this for six and keep up uh, disdainful stroke. That'll do. All right. Wow. So, them drawing three Gruel Guild Gates and nothing else is pretty unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand because Thief of Sanity could be very, very good here. So can that. Uh, we're actually gonna lead on this and arrest them into Thought Erasure. Okay, well that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a that's a key component. Um yeah, we're keeping that guy on top for sure. Gates Blaze. I always have the hybrid crashes for two. And what if I had two turns to draw that guy? Yeah, there's no incentive to attacking and trading here. <laughs> God, amazing. Oh, yep, lands for days, ladies and gentlemen. We're literally on two-turn clock here, so I'm just going to draw one, I guess. Negate. Yeah. I guess now we're on a three-turn clock because we can block this guy, but that's unbelievable. Casual 8-8. Eight, eight. <sighs> yeah, that's a real thing. That's a real thing that's happening right now. Top decks are Hydroid Crassus, Gate Colossus, Gate Colossus. Sure. What can you do? <laughs> it's like every draw is a bomb. Oh, gas. Gasoline. Uh, so yeah, we have one blocker here. We can exile the other. Yep, yeah, that's gonna be game. I feel like this deck is missing something. I don't actually know what it is. 
Thank you. Johnny B Movie, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm going to open this random pack that we acquired somewhere along the way. And get my 20 gems. Oh, it hurts so bad. Yeah, that is not the correct deck list. Take out the Unmorty Ego. We got two on the sideboard, right? Yeah, okay. Toffee Head, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Alright, we'll do one more and see what happens. first oh god I'll keep this hand I agree with the druid like I just don't think it's doing anything in this deck like I agree completely I don't I don't like it in this list like and I always want to do other things I'm like yeah I'll play thought erasure here it's just better oh it's the gate it's the gate deck again how fun Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. I guess they're gonna gates a blaze. Had I known that was there though. Uh they did not reprint Putrefy with Mortify. Oh wow, I forgot that their gates come into play tap, so we can get a hit off this. Gross Spiral is not great, but it's not nothing either, especially because we can cast it this turn. I don't really want to play uh, Incubation Druid now, because then it just dies to the Gates of Blaze that they're almost forced to play here. Just begrudging the guy the magic after having 12 years with the collection stolen from oh, God. God, Johnny, so sorry, dude. That is definitely the worst, man. That's insane. Um, let's surveil. Try to hit a land. I have no desire to, to get rid of either of those, to be quite honest. They're both very good. No, we'll keep both. I don't need to land that badly. You don't help, Frank, but you help. I appreciate that. I understand. I totally get it. I totally get it, man. I lived in Seattle, actually, for a couple of years, and... Uh, there were constant like break-ins to people's cars and they would have like thousand dollar edh collections and like all my all my legacy not mine personally but like they'd be like all my legacy stuff was in my car and it got broken into and it was pretty crazy up there like the amount of people who had their cars broken into that were friends of mine or like that i that you knew through other people like it was actually nuts So now we definitely want to hit a land here. We also have a Hydroid Crassus, though, so I guess we can actually go land Crassus.
you can resolve that. Guys, I hate this card and I want to die. Uh, I would go burritos over waffles 100% of the time. We just have to hit a land, right? Yeah, that's good. That's what we want. I feel like we're actually doing quite well here. We could actually Vraska's Contempt and Assassin's Trophy here. I don't think they have anything, but... I don't actually care about this right now, so I'm probably just going to pass here. Uh, no, you can't restrict cards in standard. It's too complicated. Uh, the reason you don't ever restrict cards is, is because it comes down... Formats come down to who draws their really powerful restricted cards first. So it's really awkward to like restrict cards in a constructed format, um, which is why they don't do it. Because you don't want you don't want it to be like oh you drew your nexus first and it's you know it's just not fun. Yeah, I don't think this is actually a threat right now, which is why we're not like going super ham about it. Five? No, it's only four. But soon it will be more. So there are just there's one card, but they hit like guild summon. It's such a blowout. I don't think it's a broken card as a one-off, right? I think the, the, the ability to recycle it... Oh, here, here we go. Is what's strong about it. That, that being the case, I also don't think restricting it is a solution. Because then you just still, you're still favoring the player who draws the, the Reclamation first. Or the, uh, the Nexus first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we're just going to Thought Erasure find your last card. Which is absolutely nothing. You can bottom that guy. Play a Vraska lady. So, it's a two-turn clock anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Because we're not increasing our clock, and I'd rather just them not have that and be like... Because if they draw, like, Explosion Expansion, I don't think it'd be like, tap all my mana, untap it, Explosion Expansion, you know, do 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 Whereas, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, they can do it for 8. As opposed to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. The one way we lose is if they draw Explosion Expansion and then just kill us from it. Which they might have done. But now they don't get to kill us from it, so it's significantly better. As a Guild Summit, Gates Ablaze, and Hydroid Crassus with our hand being nothing great. don't hate that on top. Yeah, because that's just a... We could kill this, attack you to two. Forces the gates ablaze. Definitely gonna force on gates of this, but we get to keep a Vraska this way. Do they have no basics? That'd be funny. God, what basic do I want to get? 
It's so difficult. All right, we're gonna pi pirate. Put you to two. All right, we're getting there. Magic is happening. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. 15. You have fifteen mana. Now you have twelve mana, so you're gonna make. Uh, you're gonna. We're gonna make a 13, 13 and draw six. Gain six, go to 11. Cool. Right, we do get to kill it, but drawing six is a pretty big deal. Where's the where's the, where's the disdainful stroke when you need it? Yep. <laughs> Next is a fade into Hydroid Crassus. What more fun? How much more fun can you have in standard? That's the question I'm asking. What more can you do in standard? You will be left with nothing. Hold on, do I not have enough? Yeah, I got clues here. We can still do this. Um, yeah, we'll keep doing, boy. Jesus. This is a situation where you tap everything but four, so if you draw Wilderness Reclamation, you can play it, then you play Wilderness Reclamation, then you untap, and you play two next as the fates. Alright. Actually, left one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight up. That's weird. That's a weird number. There's your Wilderness Reclamation. Circuitous route. Oh, how nice. I mean, I'm auto passing. I don't know why it's asking me to respond to this. It seems like they don't know what auto passing means. Yeah, resolve it because I'm still auto passing. Still says the words auto passing, but. Yep. Oh, wow, two of them. What a. Got a big game over here. And with 12 cards left in the deck, here's the problem. Um, basically, they're never gonna, they're always gonna be able to draw these, right? Yeah, we're having a good time. This is just so ridiculous. It's impossible for them to deck themselves, right? Like, they could just next as a fate infinitely. We got four turns backed up here. Oh, God. One, two... 
There's only two Crassuses in the graveyard, so. If they have no win con left, you let them play forever. You must be patient to destroy their soul. Yeah, but I think they do have win cons, but the other thing is that, like... Oh, it's such a grind. I'd rather just not sit here for another hour. It's just not fun, guys. That's really what it comes down to. I think we all need to acknowledge that it's just not fun. No one is having a good time. Thank you for winning the game. It is appreciated. I am going to take out Incubation Druid, as you might have guessed. Uh, I do like Ravenous Chupacabra, but I don't think they have... This is not the... Do they not have Gate Colossus or Rams in their deck? Because that's weird. Duress can come in, negates, disdainful stroke, two egos, and I guess we'll say an Eldest Reborn. Actually, Hostage Taker I like better. I play next to the paper after being on the end of it three times tonight, I want to switch decks. It's, it's funny because you don't see it from this perspective sometimes. Like, they don't have any, any good plays on turn one or two, so we can just wait to play Duress to try to maximize the, the odds of hitting something good. Yeah, that's also fine. Gates of Blaze, Guild Summit, Expansion, and Nexus of Fate. You do have red. We don't have any good creatures. We'll just take the Guild Summit because that card is busted. A card I could play would be actually pretty good here. I'm tempted to just drop a Crassus to draw a card. I'm sorry. No. Back. Wow. I hit this twice. Whatever. Got it. We gotta do me next turn, but then they go one, two, three, four, five. This is terrible because we really have to play Doom Whisper to pressure them, but then they just play Gates of Blaze. But if we don't play Doom Whisper, I guess we're gonna play it because we get to surveil a bunch. This guy paid for itself. Like we already we already drew off this, so this is just a one for one, and we get to surveil a bunch. It's fine, I guess. It's not great. I don't love this deck, so we can actually surveil until we hit Unmored Ego, or until we die.
Oh, I like a fine broker here. We can go a little bit deeper then. Thank you. Rain loss. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, I like both of these actually, so I'm gonna keep them. Sure. Doesn't do a ton. And we know your hand is Nexus and Explosion Expansion, so. Pretty sure we're just getting Crassus here, because that's a good card. Play this tapped, and next turn we'll have seven so we can Crassus. three four five still just draw one i just don't think it's worth it here and i'm definitely not taking the gates out when you have explosion expansion in hand like that's insane yep that is fine why not galta i don't think we could actually we have we don't have that many creatures in the deck okay that's definitely now we're just gonna play the dude for four right And it's pretty obvious we have something in here, right? Like we played, we played a land untapped. We kept two up. And we didn't cast this last turn. So when they knew when we they knew we had it. So yeah, that's fine. Your last card is explosion expansion. Sure, that's never gonna resolve. What do we name? Nexus? I don't think Nexus is a concern right now. Let's name Hydroid Crassus. Your hand is Gates of Blaze. Your library is boop, boop, boop. Boop and boop. Wow, I wasn't done. That was rude. <laughs> that was rude. I really like Olgari Mind Broker. I think it's such a good card here. Unmoored Ego here really masses my nips. <laughs> oh, God. I would have actually liked to see how many win conditions they had left, but... It's your boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I want to draw one less card and just force. No, I don't. I want to. I want to put on board. I should have draw. I should have put him to seven because, assuming we hit a land, we would have had two mana. Dang it, that was bad. And it's not even lethal anymore. Unbelievable. Nope, because if you draw anything, you're going to play it. All right. 
Do they have more creatures? No, but they have things like explosion, explosion expansion, and like gates ablaze, so they can kill this guy. And then, like, they're not dead for sure. literally had one turn to draw that. I can't. I can't, guys. I just can't. Uh, shuffle that dude back in for sure. So you have three negates that grow spiral and two plazas? That's actually great. Yep, don't want that ever again. I'm pretty sure a lot of these cards are actually dead here. So you have three negates and a gross spiral. God, these top decks are unbelievable. Top deck explosion expansion. You have five cards in hand that are all blanks, and you can draw up guilt summit. Like, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, actually, I should have just played Chupacabra. That's true. Magic sucks. I'm done. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? No, I'll negate this. I want to keep drawing. Oh, you just let it happen. Okay. Well. Thank you. Warrior, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Wait, how did we win this game? Did they just not have any win conditions left? Because that'd be hilarious. Well, I don't know what happened there, but. That was fascinating. If they don't have Planeswalkers, Eldritch Reborn just might be better. It just gets us a guy back when it's done. Stop adding this. There we go. I think that's probably better. I have no idea how we won that game. This is where they go to sideboard and they just they just disconnect again. I'm gonna keep this because Thief of Sanity is good. However, I don't like having Contempt and Elvis Reborn in hand, but I do like having Thief of Sanity in hand. Is this really? Are they doing it? Is this what's happening? Well, ideally they don't play a red land here. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think they have planeswalkers, though, is the problem. Like, it can hit a planeswalker for sure, but we haven't seen any planeswalkers out of the deck, so not really a concern. Oh, we get a hit? That's gas. Mm, all right. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's not ram. Could be explosion expansion. It's also a counter spell. Where do they go? They go to the graveyard. We could just take this and hate it. Where just throw this in the graveyard. I actually kind of like just having a nexus of fate in the queue. Oh, I like a disdainful stroke as well. I mean, I like it better if it's able to be cast this turn, but well, yeah, I'll, I'll take it nonetheless. Sure. I mean, with nothing on board, this is just draw a card. Uh, we want to play Nexus if it wins us the game. Like, I'm not just gonna pass. I'm just gonna play it and put it in their in their deck again. Wow, getting two hits off of Thief of Sanity. Oh, and you get a free negate. Oh my god. Boys, I don't think we're losing this game. I think we're just keeping this guy up and then we have double counter spell and yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good creature. Resolve your draws. Well, we have an Eldest Reborn, but I don't really want to tap out for it, especially when we have nothing up this turn. I'm just gonna mill your whole deck, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Put all your threats in the garbage can. Um, I like being able to go grow spiral, play another land here. That's actually kind of cool. Um, we have two counter spells. We're not gonna play anything else. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, there's nothing we can really. We're not really afraid of anything. We have three counter spells actually. I'm not really afraid of anything. I will negate Guild Summit. If you want to fight over this, it's fine. Maybe it's not fine. Like, you have three cards. Like, if we could just limit the amount of cards you have, I'm pretty okay with it. Yeah. Well, we get to hit both your cards with this. Ew, gross. Um... It doesn't matter, right? Like... We could duress you, but you have no cards in hand, so I think we're good at just keeping uh, keeping up disdainful stroke. Look at that cutie. <laughs> just take all the nexus of fates. Oh man. This is gas. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're just gonna play Eldest Reborn. I mean, we're getting to a point where we can just go next to fate and kill you. They have no cards in hand. This deck wants Frilled Mystic. That's what we want. We want Fine Brokers and Frilled Mystics. So you can go Fine Broker, get back a Frilled Mystic. That seems gas. That's also a main deck counter spell. Oh my god. I took the Negate over the Karasas, dude. I guess we're just gonna play Doom Whisperer because we have Negate and uh, we're just gonna play this untapped so we can have four mana. Yeah, they're basically just dead. Yep. And then we're gonna kill them with their own Nexus of Fate. What a, what a great game to finish out this this match. Um, I'll get your stupid Ram, I guess. I guess, do we have anything in ours? No. Can we get all, can we get another, uh, wow. See how you like it. <laughs> oh, the answer is you probably don't. Yeah, Thief of Sanity is, uh, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a good magic card. It's a solid magic card. That is not a joke. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. And you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So if that's something you're in the market for anyway, just get it. Just get them. Helps me out. Helps you out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.